welcome to simpleroptions.com. My name is Don Kaufman, joining you this August 12th, 2015. There's about uh, 20 minutes to go to the market to close over here. The question really on, uh, kind of on my mind, a lot of traders' minds that I've been talking to today, is risk dead? Or is this just the beginning? And uh, I say that simply in respect to the fact that uh, if you did see markets at all today, or you're just allowing me to recap markets for you, let's zoom in. Uh, let's go specifically to the SPX initially here, and let's zoom in on some of the uh, the action inside of today's trade, and uh, including some overnight trade. Ladies and gentlemen, there were some fireworks going off in the markets over here. This is uh, is the candle representing today inside of the S&P 500. We touched down to almost the 2050 level. Here we sit again with about 20 minutes to go to the close, some 36 plus points off the bottom of today's trade. It looked like we were falling into the abyss only to see a rally back in the markets over here <clears throat> and much of the volatility um, and again is this is this volatility like is this is this the beginning of more volatility um, is this the beginning of a, a larger move towards again a heavier volatility market but uh, much of this this move that we saw actually occurred even in pre-market trade the S&P futures were down substantial but throughout the course of the morning the markets like a freight train to the upside over here volume in the S&P futures today has also been staggeringly high almost 2.2 million contracts trading in the S&Ps with still 19 minutes to go towards the close over here but when i say you know you know is the market completely bounced back is it impervious to risk at this point i'd be remiss not to mention that tomorrow morning the retail sales numbers are coming out and again all of this this volatility is really being sparked by what's occurred in the we'll call it devaluation of the Chinese currency inside of the last two days of trade so again right on the, the forefront is you know, are we going to fall off into the abyss over here? Again, we touched down to, uh, to almost the 2050 level in the, the S&Ps. But for, for really a measurement or a kind of a litmus test of risk in the here and now, just the next two days inside of the S&P. And again, the S&P is seeing today, you know, a 40-point a range now. Uh, intraday. I mean, this product hasn't even been open for a full six and a half hours, and it's already seen a 40-point range. In the in the next two days, the volatility, it is displaying a little bit of a calmer market, if you will. It's looking like the volatility is, is displaying eh, just north of 14%. We're looking at about a, a plus or minus a $20 move inside of the next two days. But again, you got to be careful, okay, over the next few days of trade. Specifically, there's retail sales. You know, there could be another shoe to drop inside of some of the volatility that we've seen coming out of China. Again, there's been multiple devaluations of the Chinese currency over here, sparking selling, you know, really around the world. Most markets around the world overnight were down some 2%. Well, the U.S. markets, I mean, they're looking like they're going to finish massively unchanged in in the trading world over here so again keep your kind of wits about you we're looking at a 20 plus dollar move expected inside of the next two days uh, a lot more I, again i would anticipate a lot more volatility to uh to come in the coming days and usually when volatility rears its ugly head doesn't just calm off you know you know calm down and and uh and back off as quickly as you may expect if, uh, if, again, you are going to be up in the morning, tomorrow morning, uh, about an hour prior to the open, always know your calendar, always know kind of where you stand, you know, on given trading days here. But uh, coming Thursday morning, dun, 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 retail sales, they're an hour, an hour before the, uh, the market opens over there, an hour before the market opens. That is 8.30 Eastern time for retail sales numbers could... Uh, could actually rock S&P futures a bit, but an hour before the open. 
I also want to invite everybody to uh, Mr. John Carter himself is be going to be doing a class this Saturday. I'm actually excited about this one. It's uh, some stuff that's kind of near and dear to my heart. It's simpleroptions.com forward slash layup. Again, simpleroptions.com forward slash layup. We call layup trading strategies and setups. It, it really is about uh, patterns, but moreover, what John is going to be discussing with the, the use of multiple indicators out there, multiple indicators that have been designed expressly for this particular course is it's about high probability trading strategies and so forth. And again, the setups to be able to employ uh, those particular, you know, trades, those particular setups and strategies. So again, some uh, some higher probability setups over there. In addition, John's actually going to be doing some uh, some live trading uh, next week, three days of live trading over there. Don't miss it again, simpleroptions.com forward slash layup. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining me. Don Kaufman here on this uh, Wednesday afternoon.